Hi, this is Mark Dubow. Today we're going to look at how to edit videos using YouTube Editor. You can find more videos on uh, YouTube and other Google apps and other EdTech technology on my website, edtechvoice.com. And uh, please make sure you subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel if you find uh, our videos useful. So here we are at the uh, main page of uh, your YouTube account. So as you can see, I'm logged in. And uh, how do you get the YouTube editor from here? You click over here where you see the upload button and go to uh, your dashboard. Under dashboard, you will find on the left creation tools. Under creation tools, there is a series of uh, songs that are free to, uh, to uh, anybody who wants. And underneath it is video editor, which is what we're interested in. Currently, I only have one video on this channel. Now, if you had 50 videos on this channel, they would all be visible here. Uh, one of the things that's great about YouTube Video Editor that you will not find with uh, much more robust and uh, programs like Premiere, etc., is the ability to search for videos built in to the Video Editor. And all the videos that you will find here are Creative Commons licensed so that you can uh, use them for your clip. So if I was going to write something like birds, let's see what comes up. Uh, okay, nothing. Oh, I apologize. I clicked on the wrong button. I got to see right here the CC. This is the Creative Commons button. So I'm going to type birds now. Let's see what comes up. So a lot of angry birds there. I'm going to just basically pick one. Obviously, I would normally watch and see if it's appropriate. So What's fantastic about this with students is going out and filming and getting a lot of footage is pretty challenging. And often you want to do a project, but you don't want to uh, take uh, a lot of time to have them filming and so on. By using these videos that are right there and for this use, you can just basically drag it in. And if students decide that they want to use this one, there it is. So that'll be the intro to their video. So I'm going to, I would obviously watch it, but since we're doing a recording here, we're not going to worry. Uh, when you drop a video into uh, your project file, what it does is it automatically uh, brings up um, the features that uh, allow you to decide, do I need to auto fix? I always auto fix anything that I record that uh, the students record because they are not very good filmers. They don't know how to uh, hold the camera properly and so often a lot of issues come up stabilize and you could uh, decide to play with the contrast here for brightness and, and so on um, that's up to to, to you uh, one thing the students absolutely love to do is play with slow motion and uh, that's uh, built in to a uh, YouTube editor so you can click on that right there so um, some things that are also pretty neat that are built into this, you could add a filter to this particular video. Now, it's probably not going to look really good on this video because uh, it's a video that's probably a promo of uh, this video game. That doesn't even show almost. So you could uh, take, and so the students have the option to play around with a lot of these filters. Maybe we play, this one will definitely show up. And it's quite ugly, but you get the idea. You can also put a text, so a banner, uh, over um, this video. And uh, we're going to enable text. And we're going we're gonna to write, hello. Hello. Welcome to our video. So there you go. It's going to fix. Let's change this color. We're going to use something a little bit more. And press enter here. And you choose the size, you can choose the color. Um, it's a great way to, um, to optimize your videos so that they're a little more appealing to uh, people who come and check them out. Uh, audio, you can choose the volume and, and so on. So we're going to go and second here. Okay, so I've touched up this clip, looked at the possibility of adding a title, and now I want to go back and add another clip. Um, one of the things I did was also name my project. So this is pretty important because if you have several projects, they'll get easily confused. 
So I want to get back to the main screen. How do I do that? I click on this video icon. It's not actually very intuitive. So uh, therefore, what you want to do now is if there's any other clips, again, every time you drop a clip down, it will go to this screen. I auto fix, stabilize a video. Possibly you want to use a text. Possibly you want to use a filter. Maybe use slow motion. Um, those are all things that uh, you should experiment with. So I'm basically done. And now I can publish my video and it will show up in my channel. And that's how you use video uh, editor in YouTube. And it's a basic uh, overview. Thank you.